Welcome back to us and Phil's Kids at Home videos. This is our second one. We're now in Daniel chapter 2. In Daniel 1, we heard about how God made Daniel wise and how King Nebuchadnezzar chose him to be a part of his court. Well, in Daniel 2, we're going to see how God keeps on using Daniel and how Daniel keeps on trusting him. Let's check it out together. King Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. One day, King Nebuchadnezzar woke up. He was worried. He had had a bad dream. A very bad dream. He called all his wise men and said, I've had a bad dream. A very bad dream. I want to know what my bad dream means. Then all the wise men said, Tell us your dream and we will tell you what it means. But King Nebuchadnezzar shook his head and said, No, I will not tell you the dream. I want you to tell me what my dream was and then tell me what it means. But the wise man said, Tell us what was in your dream first and then we will tell you what it means. But King Nebuchadnezzar shook his head again and said, No, I want you to tell me what my dream was, then tell me what it means. The wise men cried, No one can do what you have asked. That's impossible. This made King Nebuchadnezzar very angry. He ordered, Find all the wise men. Have them all punished. When Daniel heard, he went to the king and asked, Please give me time to find out about your dream. King Nebuchadnezzar agreed. Daniel went home. Daniel prayed. He begged God to tell him about the king's dream. That night, God told Daniel, and Daniel thanked God. The next morning, Daniel went to King Nebuchadnezzar and said, No wise man could tell you your dream, but my God knows all things. My God told me your dream and what it means. So Daniel told the king the dream he'd had. He dreamt about a statue. It had a gold head, silver chest and arms, bronze upper legs, iron lower legs, and iron and clay feet. But then a small rock that no one had ever touched hit the giant statue and smashed it into pieces. Then the wind blew it all away. The rock then grew into an enormous mountain that filled the earth. Daniel told King Nebuchadnezzar what the dream meant. The statue is a picture of his kingdom and all the kingdoms that would follow. But each kingdom would come to an end. Eventually, they would all be gone. But there would come a king whose kingdom would never end. King Nebuchadnezzar fell down in front of Daniel and said, Daniel, your God is the true God. He is the Lord of all, for only you, Daniel, were able to tell me my dream. Then King Nebuchadnezzar made Daniel ruler over all of Babylon. Daniel was put in charge of all the wise men. King Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom was the most powerful kingdom ever, but even his kingdom was going to fall. There is only one king of one kingdom who will rule forever. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, but only Jesus' kingdom lasts forever. Jesus is king forever and his kingdom will reign forever. And if you are a follower of Jesus, you are a part of his kingdom and you have nothing to fear. Jesus is the most powerful, unstoppable king. Have you put your trust in him? Thanks for joining us in our second video in Daniel. We hope you're enjoying all the activities and crafts that you can do in your books. And we'll see you in our last video in Daniel chapter 6. See you soon.